Okay, some voices are talking to me. You need to make a sacrifice or we're gonna come and get you. You need to do it. James Fairweather was a really, really bad kid. He was just 14 years old when he committed his two murders and 16 when he was convicted. The brutality of the murders shocked the quiet Essex community and brought fear to those walking alone in their once peaceful neighborhood. James was obsessed with serial killers and even idolized them. He claimed he would hear voices in his head telling and guiding him to kill. Fairweather was finally caught a year later while on the prowl for his third victim. He was arrested before he could do any more bad things. Hi, I'm Shelly. Follow me down the dark alley and I'll tell you about mean kids that should be grounded. Grounded into hamburger meat. In 2014, the small community of Colchester, Essex, in England was rocked by two extremely heinous murders. The first victim was James Atfield. He was a father of five and had brain damage from a car accident a few years before. He was lying on the grass at Castle Park after drinking when he was attacked by Fairweather. He was found bleeding to death by paramedics who could not save his life. The violence committed towards him with over a hundred stab wounds startled the police, and the BBC decided that the details were too gruesome to describe for their newscast. Fairweather said that voices had chosen Atfield to be his victim, and the voices began to laugh as he stabbed him. He's fast asleep, swear he was drunk. Then he goes, he goes, he's the one, he's the one, he's the one. Do it, do it. So I went up to him. Can I stand up? No. Yes. Went up to him. Stood over like that. I stabbed him first there. And I've done it a few times. While I was doing that, my voices were laughing and laughing and laughing louder and louder. Atfield had defensive wounds on his arms and hands, indicating that he was conscious enough to attempt to fight off Fairweather. Three months later, James Fairweather was bad again. Nahed Almania was killed on Salary Brook Trail near her home. Fairweather stabbed her in the abdomen before forcing the knife into her eyes and ultimately her brain so that she could not, quote, see evil. After each murder, James Fairweather obsessively monitored press coverage on the internet. The investigation to catch the killer was one of the largest carried out in the history of Essex police. Fairweather stayed under the radar and did not attempt another murder for over a year because the public were wary of the danger. But he wanted to misbehave again. On the 27th of May in 2015, he was spotted by a concerned dog walker as looking very suspicious. The police were called and detained Fairweather, who was wearing rubber-gripped gloves and armed with a lock knife, while on the prowl for his third victim by the same nature trail where he had killed Almania. He was arrested before he could do any more bad things. In 2015, he told a psychiatrist some of the, quote, most antisocial and violent thoughts the professional had ever heard, saying that voices were telling him to burn babies and maim prostitutes. The teenager was, quote, turned on by serial killers and researched Ian Huntley, Myra Hindley, and the Yorkshire Ripper. His favorite serial killer was the infamous American serial killer, Ted Bundy, who sexually assaulted, murdered, and decapitated his victims. In court, the jury learned he wanted to emulate his idols and fantasized about killing his headteacher and parents. The killer had played violent games since the age of 13 and had a stash of gory horror films and even a book called The World's Worst Crimes. That's not for bedtime stories. 
Despite claiming he was possessed by the devil, he was found guilty of the murders and in April was sentenced at the Old Bailey by Mr. Justice Spencer, who said the killings were brutal and sadistic. The judge said his obsessive interest in serial killers undeniably fueled these killings, and it was clear he was seeking to emulate them. Fairweather claimed to have psychosis, but that was not found by a court psychiatrist to be true. On April 29, 2016, Fairweather was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum of 27 years. So maybe some time out will teach him a lesson. Do you want even more stories about bad kids? Just like and subscribe to follow me down the dark alley. I'll be waiting for you.